All right, we'll see how this works. Um, as you can see, it is morning. The sun has just come up. This is the pimped out bedroom. Um, all of our favorite things are here. Our cunningly designed stone um, pressure plate rug. Um, I like the aesthetics of it. Our bookcases, pictures of our favorite things, our axes, food. We love pictures of food. Uh, an empty chest that's just there to aesthetically balance the room. The original porch ended here. Um, I remade this chair out of birch once I had birch. This is the new deck uh, for the upstairs with our lounge chair. Um, I made that after uh, coming back from the extended tour. God damn, I hate this trap door. It's such a pain in the butt. Um, trap doors have to be placed against a uh, backdrop object like this bit of wood here. And unfortunately, ladders have to be placed against objects. So having the trap door directly above the ladder makes it hard to get out. Um, overlooking, that is the direction we swam in from. That is east. That is not south. That is south. I don't know what the hell happened. Um, anyway, there's our shallow coastline there. Bit of shallow coast to go fishing off of here. And piggies? How the hell did I get piggies? Um, no, probably when I brought back the cactuses there and sand from the desert and from that from that journey way over the, the, the there there that direction. Must have unloaded all these chunks, and when the chunks reloaded, it regenerated. Uh, animals. Nifty. Well, I'll have to round those piggies up at some point and put them in a little piggy pen. Closed doors. Downstairs. This is a much better designed uh, trapdoor setup. Having it offset like that makes it easy to come up and back down. That usually back down is works. Um, I'm not sure which dog this is, so we'll call this one Wags. Hello, Wags. Uh, the furnace is empty. This is our tool chest. Um, grab some more torches while we're here. All the leftover furniture is from making the house. All our glass. The saddle we found downstairs. Um, in one of the cool rooms, which I'll show you in a moment. Iron armor, iron sword, iron tools. Haven't really broken them out yet. Haven't really felt the need yet. Um, there may be a need coming up. Our music disc we found in the cool room. I don't have a music player built yet for it. Um, I think that requires redstone, and I haven't found any redstone. Raw resources. Um, mossy stone we found in the cool room. All of our irons, all of our coals, um, jungle wood, birch, and spruce that I brought back from the long, long journey. Oak, which grows right outside the door. Um, found a slime generating area down in the ravine. Very cool. Cowhide, um, which is usable for making armor, but since I had all that bloody iron, I just made iron armor. Yeah. Foodables. Um, I did encounter another ocelot, and I tried to tame him. And I went through, you know, 50-something pieces of raw fish, and failed. So, screw it. I left him there. A single pumpkin I brought back. All the mushroom stew from day two. Um, I've killed a couple squids for some ink. Not that I really need it. It's usable as a black dye. Haven't had a need for that yet. Oh, right, and I replaced all the windows. Um, which were fences before with glass because it looks cooler. Uh, let's go out the back door real quick. This is the uh, new deck um, for the dock. Head down into the dock. This is the cunningly designed door for the dock. Works very well. Um, the only flaw is spiders can get in through here, but I'm not particularly worried about spiders getting in. Worst they'll do is jump all over the wheat. 
Our beautiful wheat farm, so luxurious. Not really necessary, seeing as how, um, you know, I'm right next to Mushroom Land, but, um, eh. I do prefer to take bread on long journeys. Um, right now I have 64 red and brown mushrooms, which I can make more mushroom soup if I need it. Um, I'm going to keep an empty bowl for milking a mushroom cow later for you guys. Uh, meow. Hello, Rame. Hello. But in this space, I could have four 64 stacks of bread. So, bread is just a little bit more compact than um, mushroom soup. Anyway, this is the original deck. The original deck was here. We'll call this one Tails. Hello, Tails. Um, I extended it when I built the kennels. Our little flower pots with a little baby cactus. Come out over to the kennels, overlooking the kennels. Down into the kennel. This is a dog uh, swimming area with our cunningly designed water inlet. And I guess this is paws since that was tails and wags up there. The dog beds, the little dog living area. Little doggy bowls with water, which are just cauldrons half full of water. All right, tails, hold down the fort. We're heading out. Uh, yep, we've got enough supplies to head out. Beware of dogs. Um, this overhang here, in theory, should protect the kennels from spiders. In theory. This is an upside down staircase, and I don't know if they can just run up along those or not. Um, I've only got two flaws in the defensive design. Right there, spiders could climb up and get in. the outside of the cunningly designed water inlet, which is, you know, useless. It's not like water actually flows in this game. And over here, spiders could climb up the side, get onto the top deck, and drop down into the kennels. But, spiders pathfind in a very straight direction. They come straight at you. So if a spider does aggro on my dogs, which I don't think they will, they're likely just to run and get jammed in something here, or get jammed into this, and, you know, or come straight at the front and get jammed in here, and pretty much, you know, not worried about it. This is a back door staircase I uh, dug up from uh, the back of the ravine, which I'll show you in a bit. But first, cave system number one. And uh, I'm going to pause for a moment. I want to make sure we're actually recording and getting voice. So, back in a moment.